start with a Hawaii News Now exclusive. Officials at Hawaiian Electric Kahe Power Plant confirm they're working with the FBI tonight after receiving several disturbing letters. Now, this comes one month after federal authorities posted a terrorism alert bulletin warning of threats to critical infrastructure. Investigative reporter Allison Blair has our top story. Law enforcement sources tell me this doesn't appear to be an isolated incident, saying that multiple power plants across the country have received similar letters. According to sources, security at Hiko Kahe Power Plant turned over a total of three letters containing several threatening innuendos to the FBI and HPD Tuesday morning. We're told the messages arrived via mail and are believed to have been sent from Michigan. A HECO spokesperson confirms the agency is cooperating with law enforcement. The letters come just weeks after federal authorities posted this terrorism alert bulletin, warning critical infrastructure could be targeted by extremists. Since mid-November, there have been a series of attacks on power stations in Washington, Oregon and North Carolina. According to CBS News, several substations were damaged by gunfire, leaving tens of thousands of residents without electricity for days. It's unknown if any of those attacks are in any way related to the disturbing letters that have been mailed to power plants across the country. Retired FBI counterterrorism agent Tom Simon. Using the U.S. mail to send a threat is a violation of federal law, so it's definitely something the FBI would investigate. The fact that the threat appears to be targeting critical infrastructure would definitely ratchet up that sense of urgency. Simon says the FBI lab in Quantico has technology that can lift fingerprints from both the envelope and the letter itself. If the stamp and the envelope were not self-adhesive, the sender likely licked them. And I've seen cases where the FBI lab was able to separate the human DNA from the glue on the envelope to identify the sender. In an email, an FBI spokesperson says it takes threats to the public very seriously, saying we work closely with our partners to assess and respond to threats and keep our community safe. Meanwhile, HECO officials confirm there were no evacuations or service disruptions related to the incident. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.